Yeah, why did Evelyn cross the road? Why? To yell at the chicken for eating her food. <laughs> yeah, so Evelyn has an eating disorder. <laughs> that means she doesn't go to restaurant for a date, but she prefers cemetery because there she can get as many flowers as she wants. <laughs> Yeah, cemeteries are great for dates. Um, I'm too young to die. <laughs> uh, uh, Ruslan is from Kyrgyzstan, but he looks American. <laughs> The only part of Ruslan that has successfully assimilated is his cholesterol. <laughs> I hope immigration uh, will hear this joke so I can get my documents. <laughs> You're doing great, yeah. Yeah, so uh, Evelyn likes to travel. Uh, she likes to travel from one therapist to the next therapist <laughs> to the next therapist. <laughs> So uh, one of her therapists tried to uh, kill himself twice. <laughs> Once when she uh, told him her stand-up jokes. <laughs> and the second time was successful. <laughs> she loves to travel. Ruslan ever wanted to kill himself, it would require a hydraulics press. Yeah. You still want to go for a date with me, right? Um, um, it's, it's unethical to have sex with someone with a mental disability, but Ruslan is still planning on reproducing uh, via mitosis. I mean, it's fun. Reproducing is fun. Yeah, in New Orleans, uh, they have a voodoo doll that you poke with pins if you don't like somebody. And in Chicago, we have Evelyn. <laughs> herself and smells like a voodoo doll in the New Orleans. <laughs> I'm very powerful. Uh, uh, Ruslan is a rapper, but he doesn't make his own beats um, because every time he tries to do so, it ends up sounding like slap, slap, slap. Clap, 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 Yeah, she is right, but uh, the only thing she is wrong, I don't, I don't need beats, I can prove it. Yeah, like Jay and Silent Bob, like Pumbaa and Timon. I came to have a fun, stop being sad, come on. Together we are power, you can't eat, and I can. You are the suicidal Barbie. I'm fat and handsome Ken. Uh, I was gonna try to give you a beat under that, but I didn't want to be rude. Um, um, Ruslan insists that he's straight. Uh, but in Soviet Russia, dick fucks you. <laughs> so lucky to be in America. God bless America. Yeah, Evelyn looks like she survived the drug overdose. Yeah, but that's because she couldn't lift the pill to swallow it. <laughs> See, those are big pills that they give you. Um, uh, Iadumala 
što i nostra naj mošinaj dožne biet seksijalnimi. Could you translate, please? She is inviting me to the cemetery. <laughs> for a date. <laughs> but if I trans translate what she said, she said she didn't know that like Russian men could be so sexy. No, I, I mean, no. still same, you know? That's not what I said. I said I thought foreign boys were supposed to be hot. Ah, you said it wrong. <laughs> You should study more, like I do. Yeah, I ran it by Vladimir. I guess he steered me wrong. Yeah. La okay, last joke. I mean, uh, no, we have two more. Two, two more. more. Okay, two more jokes. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Evelyn is possessed by a demon. <laughs> and they both don't pay rent. <laughs> so neither landlord nor uh, priest brought it to eviction, and it's because uh, Demon has a higher credit score, positive rental history, <laughs> and one less cat. Uh, I showed my friend Ruslan's Tinder profile, and she was like, is that a blobfish? <laughs> holding a normal fish. <laughs> it's not his fault he's this voluminous and distorted. He's, he's supposed to be 4,000 feet under sea level. <laughs> but fishermen were confused when they caught him. They thought he wanted it because he just kept shouting, Niet, niet! <laughs> yeah, you, you, you forgot to mention that you are Evelyn Troutman. Her last name is Troutman, so I was holding that fish, you know? I was holding trout. <laughs> yeah, uh, Evelyn, Evelyn is a really cool girl. She deserves all the good in this life, you know? So that's why she, she gets for her birthday whatever she wants, whatever. And it's obvious she wants to die. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, that's why she doesn't have resting beach face, uh, but rest in peace face. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, you should ask her to go to the cemetery. Uh, we can go, three of us. Uh, the very first thing Ruslan told me about Kyrgyzstan is that they eat horse and drink horse milk, which explains why he's so gelatinous. <laughs> But Ruslan drives Uber, so he really has no job security because he was raised to think you're supposed to eat your method of transportation. <laughs> <laughs> He's the only guy I know to suckle on an exhaust pipe. <laughs> in an effort to sustain his life. <laughs> At least I'm alive. Yeah. Okay, give it up for them, everybody. Holy shit. <laughs> yes. Okay. I have never felt more like P.T. Barnum <laughs> than this moment. One more time for this, everybody. Give it up for them. I don't care how objectively uncomfortable you were. <laughs> I was having a great time <laughs> that whole thing. I want to get first thoughts from Lenny Gravitz here. What are you thinking, Tina? Wow, what a great battle, these two right here. Jesus Christ. That was adorable and weird. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, absolutely fantastic. This looks like a weird version of Spirited Away, just saying. <laughs> right? It's the little girl of a fucking ghost that follows her everywhere. <laughs> if you don't know the reference, get some fucking culture. Anyways. Fujiko's coming up later. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit, what a battle from raps to, to act outs, and you spoke in his language, and you had comebacks, Roots Line, you're wearing a silly hat. Um, wow, what an absolutely fantastic battle, but ultimately, I think Evelyn did flex. Did flex with the act out, with the language. I gave it props for that, so that's my vote. Okay, Evelyn gets a vote, give it up for her. Brandon. Hell yeah. I love Evelyn, and I love the guy who's gonna inevitably follow her, follow her home tonight. Uh, <laughs> Ruslan, I don't know what kind of Russian clan hat that is, but... Uh, <laughs> Evelyn, I love your white girl jokes. You're literally the Dairy Queen, and he's the Grand Blizzard. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I thought you both of you were great. Ruslan, I love your shit, but Evelyn got you tonight, buddy. But uh, fantastic on both of you. Two for Evelyn. Yes. This one. This is why I love comedy. Like the only two, like the only other place that these guys would meet is a Magic the Gathering, like. <laughs> <laughs> You know, and it's like, thank you for wearing that hat. Thank you. <laughs> you look like Robin never been to the hood. <laughs> I thought this was a great battle. I thought you guys both had great comebacks. Um, I think Evelyn edged it out um, with that clap, clap, clap. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm going to give it to Evelyn. Okay, Evelyn wins the battle. Give it up for her. <laughs> We've delayed the inevitable by another week, I think. Kevin? <laughs> I love this battle. Uh, it was from both ends of the spectrums of eating disorders that we saw tonight. <laughs> and let me just tell, Ruslan ate, but Evelyn, she took a nibble, all right? She took a nibble. Uh, I'm gonna go with Evelyn. I'm gonna go with Nibble. Okay, Evelyn gets another vote. I won't find a thought from Nathan Glenn. It, uh, it took me a minute to realize this wasn't a fever dream happening behind a Hot Topic counter. Uh, <laughs> But the net joke, uh, it made me pee a little bit, so we're gonna go with Evelyn. Okay, Evelyn wins it. Give it up for these two Fantastic. amazing battlers. So unique. Aww. Oh, man. Hey, thanks for watching Roast Battle Chicago. If you guys wanna subscribe to our channel, you get even more content, a bunch of it, hours of it for free. And you can hit that little like button down there, hit the subscribe right over here, and check out these videos right over here.